Hey guys, welcome back to I Eat Pie. He didn't say it. No, he doesn't know how to talk yet. <laughs> no, this is our little baby Gideon. Mm -hmm. I think he's awake. No, he's asleep, but we want him to be asleep. Well, he's trying to wake up and I'm trying to keep him asleep. Yeah, so we're just gonna... So if you hear grunting, he's trying to wake up. Yeah. So today we have bubble tea and fried squid and deep fried chicken from Bubble World. Something easy that we can just talk to you guys with and answer your questions. Answer your questions that we asked 30, 45 minutes ago. But a lot of you guys answered or asked us, so we will try to answer all of them. So we're just going to pray quickly and then we'll start. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for blessing us with Gideon into our lives, Lord. And yeah, I just pray that to you. Uh, Help this video go smoothly. <laughs> Minimum crying. And just never pray. Amen. Oh, okay. He seems to be okay, right? I got a green apple. So it might just be one because I just kind of did it from. Um, oh, and what kind is this? That's a passion fruit green tea. Oh, yeah. With grass jelly. So, Yana Peralta says, Oh, my very beautiful baby. So happy for you guys. Um, happy for you guys that God put this very handsome baby blessing in your guys' lives. How old is he now, and what is he like? He is three weeks and, and two days and two days old. Yeah, and he is a very cute baby. He is very well. We'll active. show you at the end of the video. Yeah, we'll kind of yeah. wake him up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> he's a very he's very strong. He likes to box and uh, do squats with his little legs. He's cute. He likes to burp and he likes to fart. <laughs> All things baby like. He likes to grunt. He's a grunter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think he smells like every single day. Yeah. Especially when he's about to fall asleep. That's when he'll give you a little smirk. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Her name is hard to pronounce. Lathica? Lathica? Safangthong? Anyways, she says, he's too cute. How do you guys feel about bringing him out to public? My niece is now nine months and we're still paranoid with all the new viruses going around. It's super scary. Well, um, yeah, we don't really take him out, to be honest. We've gone to what, Walmart once or something. Walmart and Costco lunch. Mm -hmm. um, but we usually go like when there's not really anybody around, like in the mornings and stuff. And then I just have my mask and he's either in the car seat, not touching anything. Yeah. Or, um, hey, hey baby. baby. But yeah, no, he's <laughs> mostly at home. But am I scared? I'd say no. Not scared. Um, are you scared? No. I mean, I'm I'm pretty cautious. I would say I'm like mm -hmm. I would. I, we make sure that the kids after school, they're done. They they come in, shower, wash their hands, everything before they can hold him. Yeah, and because they always wear the um their school clothes as like a uniform, so then they have to you know take their uniforms off and stuff too, just because COVID did go through their school back in December. So we just you know like yeah. So I'd say we're cautious, but not scared or, or fearful or whatever but mm -hmm. and the only times we really go out is just for a little walk around our neighborhood so he has just plenty of outside time yes he likes being outside brooklyn's angels she says hi big fan who does he look more like um i think me because <laughs> <laughs> of course he would say that because he has asian eyes yeah because he's more asian like but to say that he he doesn't look completely like me just because of his hair. When I was born, I had so much hair on my head, and it was like black, black. It black was hair. literally probably as much as you yeah. Know. He, pro I had probably had more crazy. hair when I was a baby than I do yeah. now. <laughs> and, and his, his hair, hair is, is quite light, super even. thin. Yeah. It's not even black. Yeah. It's brownie. Yeah, and he doesn't and have his eyebrows. Eyes, yeah, he doesn't have eyebrows. His eyes are not brown, which I was expecting. Yeah. Um, hello, baby. Yeah. Hey, big guy. He's so cute. 
I can just look he at him the whole. So cute. First time we'll on camera. We'll show him yeah. at the end here. Hopefully he stays calm. Hey, but he um, Shan has said that, or a couple people there have commented. Few, yeah. yeah, that just said, oh, he looks like a, like you can see Grant in him, but they also thought he looked like Salem as well, which mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, cool, interesting. I don't know. I just know that babies change so much, especially in the first year that I just think he looks like himself. Mm -hmm. He's so cute. Oh. Hey, baby. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> I don't know if that nap was good enough for you. <laughs> Hopefully it is. Um, Cindy Smith asks, he is absolutely adorable. So happy for you all. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. How are the kids adjusting to him? I bet they're all doing great. You have an aw you have awesome kiddos. A big hug and congratulations sent your way from Nova Scotia. Oh, thank you. Oh, Nova Scotia. Cool. I would, I would say the kids have adjusted pretty well, and they are super excited to have him. Oh, oh yeah. He is su they are super excited to hold him, and just mm -hmm. they sometimes they even fight to hold him. Hey, buddy. You can hear his little cry. It's like, I need you, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have my mom that came down this week. Praise the Lord. <laughs> For a little... <laughs> he always makes me so hot. Yeah, he's Sweaty. a... Yeah. He's, yeah, he's a hot little guy. Roasty. Yeah, we'll bring him back when he's settled down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. He's not camera ready, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the kids have adjusted. They love him absolutely so much. They constantly want to hug him and kiss him and... Uh, yeah. Just like us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can G ask, what made y'all sure you guys were ready to bring a beautiful child onto this planet? By the way, congrats, guys. Actually, we were not ready. for most of you guys... We've, we've, I think we've told you that we didn't originally, we didn't want any kids, right? Mm -hmm. a, Brad was happy with yeah. the three yeah. already, like. And then Jen's like, oh, I'm good. So mm -hmm. him coming in was a total surprise, but a blessing. Like, I've never knew that I could just stare at a baby <laughs> for so long and just hold him and yeah. So mm -hmm. it's brought a different aspect into my life and I'm so thankful for it. Um, what day was he specifically born? April 30th. At 7.44 yeah. a.m. Yeah, he was, he's a, apparently he's a 5 percenter. He was born on his due date. It's Jari Yaj. Oh, he's super precious. I hope y'all are doing great. How big was he when he was born? Eight pounds, two ounces. Yeah, about. But I feel like, because he's, he was bigger than both me and my sister and the three kids. Isabella Naboa? How is your recovery going? And she also asked how many hours in labor. So hours in labor was five from like the very start, which we'll also tell the story quickly here. And then what was her other question? Sorry. How are you recovering? Uh, recovering quite well. The first week I'd say quite emotional. Um, getting out for walks now and stuff. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. Just getting a bit more energy too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we go into the other questions, we'll t tell her restore your, your experience first okay so it was about 2 30 a.m and i was like oh i'm feeling um some contractions and so i timed them on my phone this guy was sleeping beside me there I was timing them on my phone they were every three to five minutes so i thought oh okay well, we'll see maybe this is something maybe it's not i don't know so yeah after about an hour of timing them and not being able to like really sleep um, they were definitely three to five minutes apart and they stayed consistent with that. So around, I don't know, three or so, 3.30, whenever it was in the morning, I thought, well, maybe I'll have a hot shower because that's what I did with my other labors and I kind of like made them progress a bit faster. So, um, I messaged Grant because I didn't want to wake him up because I knew that I still had, excuse me, a few hours to go for sure because the contractions were although they were five minutes apart they weren't like super intense when you know that like this one's coming um 
so I didn't really want to wake him up. I wanted Grant to be able to sleep as long as he could. Um, so I just like messaged him and said, Hey, I think I might be in labor. Is that all I said? And then I'm going to have a shower or something. You're, you think you might be in labor. And then you said that your contractions were three to five minutes. Mm-hmm. And then you said, yeah, I think you said you were going to go take a shower or a hot shower. Mm. Yeah. And you said, this might be it. um yeah so i went had a hot shower um it did seem to get a bit more intense after that and then i messaged irene and let her know because she was going to come and take the kids to school um for us so then that way we didn't have to worry about that um so yeah so she ended up coming but we did we go to the hospital first oh Mm -hmm. so then um when i came out of the shower grant was sitting on the couch awake (laughs) and i was like oh i thought you'd still be you know trying to sleep or whatever but no apparently not um oh you bit that one yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you can have it. I bet it's fine. It is fine. It's not a matter. Um. Anyways, so then, oh, thank you. Oh. They were holding on as tight as they could. Um. So got out of the shower. Grant was up and awake, and I was surprised, but I was like, oh, okay, like that's good. And then they started getting uh, more intense. I woke up Adiel and told her that, okay, we're going to head to the hospital now. The hospital is super close. It's like literally five minutes away. Super close. Um, and then just see like, you know, where I'm at or whatever to and get checked and stuff. And this would have been at four, four thirty, four. Yep. Okay. So I went to the hospital, um, or I messaged, I phoned the midwife first. I paged the midwife first and said, yep, they're about five minutes apart. It's been, you know, so many hours. Um, but I, I, you know, I figured I'd have like anywhere from three to five hours because that was how long my other kids were. Mm -hmm. And so the midwife was like, oh, just, yeah, come in. She wanted me to come in. Uh, so then we went in and, um, I sat there for a while. Um, they ask you a bunch of questions and stuff like that. And then went back into the triage room they uh, um the midwife that was there she checked me said i was about three centimeters and then she ended up um breaking my water which i think she did on purpose wait so your water wasn't broken the first time no Um. because that was like he it's a lot that (laughs) comes out (laughs) sorry if that's tmi yeah um But yeah, so then she did that and then, um, yeah. And then after that, they got a little bit more intense, but she was like, do you want to stay here or, and labor here? Or do you want to go home? Like, what do you want to do? It's full here because apparently everybody's having babies. (laughs) Um, and so I just was like, yep, I'll go home. I'll go home. Like, you know, I would rather be at home laboring than in a hospital setting laboring. So... Um, yeah, came home and laid down on the couch. Well, I had to go to the bathroom a couple of times and that was getting more difficult even just to like stand, like more painful. Mm -hmm. And so then, um, yeah, laying down in bed and then I was like, oh, maybe I don't have to go back to the hospital. Maybe I could just have the baby here (laughs) because it was getting more painful for sure. Mm -hmm. And I knew it was getting close. Uh, so then anyway, so then we went back while Grant was like, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so then, yeah, we ended up going uh, back to the hospital. Irene was here by that time and she was so sweet. She brought like muffins for the kids and stuff too. And just to, yeah, just to, you know, be there with the kids early in the morning and stuff. Um, and by this time, I think all the kids were awake and I think she said we left around 7.20 to go back to the hospital. Um, and then, yeah, praise the Lord, we prayed and found a found a spot. Yeah, because it was busy by the time. Yeah. yeah. 
And so then, um, it was, it was definitely difficult. I could, uh, the contractions were like way more intense and I knew I was nearing the end because there, there's like this point where like in my brain, I'm just like, it's, it's gets like so painful where it's like, I can't keep doing this. Like this has to be the end. Like I just can't keep going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so then anyways, so we got out of the vehicle elevator up to the, um, triage, like waiting area or whatever. Um, and by this time, I can't really, like, stand up straight even, so I was holding on to the bar, and I can start to feel his, like, head start to come down. I'm like, I just remember holding on to the railing and just praying, like, Lord, please don't let me have this baby, because I was wearing Grant's big sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, please don't let me have this baby, and, like, in the waiting area and coming out in the sweatpants. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, so anyways, the Lord was gracious enough, and we got back to the triage room, and then he was born, like, maybe 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, um, and they, yeah, like, they weren't really ready for us, but that was fine. <laughs> I just laid down on the bed and, and you know, uh, a few pushes or whatever, and then he was out at 7.44 a.m. Mm -hmm. on April 30th. Yeah. And that was my intense experience, and I was so relieved that he was finally here, and I was done with labor, and didn't have to do that ever again. Lord, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so wonderful when they're actually, and they put the baby on you, and you're just like, oh, such a sense of, like, relief, and, like, he's finally here, and it's just wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my experience. Yeah. Which is a bit more chill than my experience. Okay. So, uh, like, 2 o'clock, and I turn over, and I see Shan's on her phone. I'm like, mm, 2.30. Yeah, 2.30. So then I was like, oh, why are you on your phone? And then she's like, I think we're going to have the baby. I'm like, what? And then she's like, oh, it's, it's fine. Just go back to bed. Mm -hmm. oh, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, nothing's fine. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes out and goes in the washroom. I go on my phone, and, I, and then... Through the text message, she said her contractions are three to five minutes. So then I'm like instantly Googling, okay, what should my contractions be before we go to the hospital? So it's three to five minutes. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so we should, be, we should be going to the hospital right now. So then, yeah, I get dressed. I get everything packed, everything set up. Shan's still in the shower. I'm sitting on the couch just Googling everything just to make sure I'm like prepared because I'm a crammer, last minute crammer. <laughs> Uh-huh. He didn't Google anything or see anything before. <laughs> but, anyway, she comes out. She's like, oh, everything's fine. She's just getting dressed. And then, like, around four-ish, that's when we headed to the hospital the first time. And, uh, yeah, everything went smoothly. We got up to the triage. They they had a room for us. And then, yeah, the midwife. Well, there was no room. Like, there was no oh, like, labor like the room. But the triage is, like, the waiting area. Yeah. Before you get to go into a labor room. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we got there s smoothly. Um, the only thing was our, the midwife this, that Shan's been talking to for the last nine months. Wasn't coming on until like eight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this the one midwife that we first met, she didn't seem that happy. <laughs> well, I think she was tired too. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, we did end up finding out that she was she delivered four babies the previous night, so she was exhausted. So, but it was just that something that I expected, like someone that we knew delivering mm. the baby. So that was like the first thing that was like out of like, oh, okay, this is not going according to plan already, mm. right? So I anyway. didn't care. I just wanted the baby out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, Chance getting checked out. And then she, the midwife's like, oh, yeah, you can go home or you can wait here, but we won't have any, like, like the chance said. So we ended up going home and then laying down for a little bit. And then a couple hours later, 7 o'clock or so, Shan's, like, in, like, a lot of pain. And then she's like, I think we have to do it. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I cannot do a home birth. Oh, yeah, I said something about maybe in the bathtub Yeah, I'm like, no, like no, no, we're going right now. So then oh, yeah. I help her out. She's like, even getting out of the bed, she was struggling. Like she was just holding on and she was just like, 
And it was like, it was like the slowest, like. Because the know. contractions were on top of each other, too. Yeah. Yeah. So it was so like. It'd be like super long time. Then it'd be like a 10 second break. And then it'd be like another contraction. So it wasn't just like five minutes break, five minutes break. Yeah. So it, to get from our room to the door, there was probably like three contractions. So I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, like wait at the bed. 30 seconds. Come out, take a step. 30 seconds. Walk to the door. Wait 30 seconds. Wait under at the bottom of the stairs. 30 seconds. And then she made up the stairs, thankfully, without mm-hmm. having contraction. Mm-hmm. And then at the top of the stairs, I think she t- had contraction. And then I ended up getting in the car, meeting her, like, right in front of the driveway. And then as she was getting out of, into the car, she had a contraction just holding on to I'm like, oh, dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't come yet. Yeah, yeah. So then we drive to the hospital. All the parking slots that we originally saw that were completely open were taken. We end up going to the second level, and what I just thought about right now was just like, I think God was looking out for us, because the first time we went, there was a security guard that helped us get up. Normally, you have to scan a card, and then you can get to the second floor, but if you didn't have a card, you have to go through the lobby. Mm -hmm. So the second time we went there, there was no security guard, but there was two ladies that were staffed there, and they were able to scan us up to the second floor. Oh, really? Yeah, or else we would have to walk up the stairs. I was out of it. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> so those two ladies got us up there, and then we walk into the lobby. I'm like, I, t- I tell the nurse, like, my wife's ready to deliver. And then they're like, oh, okay, okay. Like, nonchalant. Right, right, I'm like, right. and th- this this was what was that annoyed me, because they weren't, like, <laughs> urgent. Like, I feel like if, if, you, if someone tells you, that your wife is delivering, you'd be like, okay, okay, we'll get things going, kind of just like, fast, right? Shan's like holding onto the bar, like squeezing, and she's just like, yeah, just in a lot of pain. Praying. <laughs> yeah, praying. <laughs> so then I tell them, like, I, I think she's ready to push, and then she's like, okay, we're just looking for a room right now, there's, there's like no room for you. Mm-hmm. And then they end up just bringing us into the triage, and then setting us down on the bed. And there's just, like, nurses coming in and just, like, bringing things in and out, in and out, in and out. And then Shan just starts pushing, like, once she gets onto the bed. And then, yeah, that was super intense. Just, like, because the middle was like, okay, you need, you need to slow down. You need, don't, don't push yet. And Shan's like, ah, oh, push yeah. it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Everyone, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. And then the, and I looked over for a second, I see his head. I'm like, oh, he's here. And then I'm like, oh, you got this, you got this. Because I have no idea what I can do. I just, I'm just there. I'm like, you got this. Just give her a positive read. <laughs> like, you did so you. good. You did so good. Yeah. And then, yeah, these nurses are just walking back and forth. And, um, yeah, then Gideon comes out, starts crying, and then we get to see him. Yep. Yeah, it was super beautiful. They put him on me, and then I was like, oh, thank goodness you're here. Yeah. <laughs> and then after all that... <clears throat> Uh, we still had to wait in the triage because they didn't have any rooms for us after we delivered. So then Shan had to listen to other ladies. Oh, labor. that was oh, that was awful, because you literally just go through this super intense, painful labor, and then because the triage room is where everybody else is laboring before they're in like the active active labor they call it, where you're like gonna push and stuff, and then they move you into like. The, they have a whole wing of labor rooms like there's so many mm-hmm. um and just hearing the ladies like moaning or the ladies like uh oh, and it's just like i just went through that i don't want to hear like you know what i mean like anybody else going through that intense pain mm-hmm. uh but yeah. yeah the nurse afterwards said what did she say something about how the other ladies in the triage room were like, that's so unfair. She just like came in, had the baby <laughs> and was done. She didn't even labor here. Yeah. It was a fast one. Five hours. Yeah. Well, that was how long Aaliyah was as well. Mm-hmm. Five hours. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. And it was then, intense. yeah. And then three hours later, they finally find a room for us. And then we head to the, like our little, little suite. Mm-hmm. And then we slept for a little bit and then came home and showed the kids. Their new little brother. Yeah. I think we got home around like four that day or something. No, it was later. Later? Yeah, oh, okay. it was okay. like five. Oh, uh, yeah. so much later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 
But yeah. But yeah, I think like what was making me a bit nervous was just uh, like I know nothing goes according to plan, and with her especially, nothing goes according to plan. Mm-mm. Like our plan was to <laughs> to have a midwife that we both knew, knew or at mm-hmm. least she knew, because I I wasn't going to the meetings; it was only one on one thing. Yeah. And then we originally planned a birth a birthing tub, birthing suite. And, um, yeah, it was supposed to be all relaxing. I brought candles. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, and then, yeah, That's we sweet. ended up just delivering in the triage with, like, all these people running back and forth. And the, Trying to the, get everything done. Yeah, and then the whole point of just going to this birthing suite was to have, like, dim lights and just, like, nice and chill. Relaxing, and, yeah. And she, I just re- remember her saying, like, how her first, uh, first time in the hospital, like, lights were just, like, beaming on her. And then, like, her and the nurses nurse were, were like, like, made it feel super intense, and like everything was just like, oh. So, yeah, I thought this was that's what exactly was going to happen again, mm. which I think it didn't really. Like, no, yeah. it didn't feel yeah. that intense. No, yeah, no. So, I'm thankful for that. Anyways, <laughs> should we end it and just bring in a little Gideon? A few more. Well, I just want to answer a few more of these um, questions. Um, one from. So, this is Kate. Yeah, Churchill's Churchill's B and B, which is uh, a bed and breakfast in um, Australia. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna. I mean, one day would yeah. be nice to get there. It'd be awesome. Um. So she says, "Did you keep any hand-me-down clothing from the kids or from when you guys were a baby that Gideon can snuggle into?" Um. No. <laughs> because after Aaliyah. I was done yeah. having kids and so just got rid of all the maternity stuff, all the baby stuff. So basically all the baby stuff that I got, I either um, got for free or... Marketplace. Um, yeah, marketplace, like kind of used. Uh, and then I just washed them and stuff. So, And then does he have a middle name? Yes, he does. And Grant will tell you because I don't know how to pronounce one of them. Alan. Yeah, so that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dad thing. Thanks, love. Uh, which means handsome, harmonious one. Yeah. And then. And then there's different pronunciations, but the one that is that on your his, parents chose. Yeah, yeah but it's the one that's on his birth cer- certificate is Ying Jie, which means um, hero or important figure. What is it? Hero. Y- oh, no, how Ying Jie. Ying Jie. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah, a Chinese, the Chinese name, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, th- I forgot, to, there's one thing. Oh, they, people asked wh- where we got the name Gideon from. Oh, it's from the Bible? Yeah. Um. It oh, means brave me. warrior. See, okay, but how do I... I think in the, it was, it's in Judges. How did you come up with his name? He's so cute. Uh, he is very cute. Uh, you know what? Actually, uh, it, Gideon was the only name that both of us um, liked. Yeah. Now... I shut down everything else. <laughs> <laughs> we knew... Well, I knew that I wanted it to be from the Bible because all my other kids' names are from the Bible. And um, we thought we wanted it to start with a G because his name starts with G. Mm-hmm. Um, Ellie and Addie both start with A, and their um, biological dad's name was Aaron, started with an A. And then Salem's name starts with an S, and my name starts with an S. So we thought it'd be really cool if um, Gideon's name started with a G and for with his dad. For correct. Yeah, and so in the Bible, we went through all the G names, and Gideon was the only one that we both liked. And had a good uh, meaning as well. Mm-hmm. Thanks for your question, Fia Short. Uh, Don Ferg 78 says, he is the cutest baby. Uh, I want to know how mom is doing slash feeling. I am doing much better now and feeling much better now. Uh, the first week I was a mess. I literally cried like every time he cried. I cried every day. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt, I went through like a period too in the evenings only of just like, I needed one of my kids with me, beside me. Um, I didn't want to be by myself. I needed Grant to like snuggle me and be like close to me. Um, I kind of went through not so much the first week, but the second week, I would say a bit of like sadness in the evening, which was like, 
just super bizarre feeling sad for no reason. Um, but I, I knew it was hormones and I knew that it would go away, but I just was like, I just need you with me, mm. near me, close to me, touching me, cuddling me, loving me. <laughs> um, but yeah, but now being, we just passed the three week mark and I'm feeling much more like myself. I don't feel sad anymore. And I had like my mom and some other ladies, uh, wonderful ladies and my sister-in-laws and stuff praying for me too. Um, you know, just that the Lord would give me strength through all of this too. Cause not sleeping, um, you know, nursing is difficult in the very beginning and kind of like getting all that going and, and everything too. And, uh, yeah. So I, yeah, now I would say, like I say, like now I'm getting outside a little bit, going out for like short walks and just like, um, yeah, feeling a lot better. I still feel like when Grant goes to work now, because last week was his first week back to work. And when he comes home, I'm just like, yes, you're <laughs> home. <laughs> like, come here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, not, gift, it's yeah. not the sad, like, I need you. Mm-hmm. I'm sad. It's like, I just need him, like, near me, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'll answer a few more here. Uh, Tr- Ty Dresha. Ty Dresha. Uh, when, when is, was he born? When was he born? April 30th. And how much did he weigh? He was 8.2, uh, so eight pounds, two ounces. Um, Barrett Shanae, uh, what was your husband's reaction when the baby was born? I was kind of, it didn't feel real at the moment (laughs) until he started crying. And then I was like, oh. That's cool. <laughs> so you were just like, what? I was kind of. What just, was your first kind of feeling? I was like, I'm like shocked. Yeah, kind of. I think it was a shock. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was like my emotions. I didn't know how to react to this because this is something so new to me. Yeah. So then I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> and keep in mind too, Grant's never held a baby until yeah, he never. held his son. Never ever. Was it weird? Or was it like, I was like, cool. how do I do this? <laughs> I've seen them do it in movies. I was, I was just like, okay. You just watch his head. Yeah, yeah, just watch his head. <laughs> yeah. But then once I saw him, then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to look into your eyes forever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one we answered already about his name. Um, Gene D. Silva asked, on a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous were you and Grant? Um, I was not nervous. Um, how nervous were you on a scale of one to like on, mine on would the, be like on the day of delivery? Yeah, no, I would say I was not um, nervous. No, I wasn't nervous. I was just, I just wanted to make sure that I, we had everything prepared because mm. for me, preparedness is like the best thing for me. <laughs> yeah. And if something, if I don't have something prepared, then uh, then yeah, I'll be more nervous. But I think we were pretty prepared for this. Yeah. Alfie Barina says, first three emotions you felt when finally seeing baby Gideon. My very first emotion. And also um, Churchill's BNB also was like asking about um, when you first saw him, what did you think? My first, I was just it, so relieved that, okay, I am done with the whole like super intense contractions and pushing and he is finally here. So definitely a relief. Um, and just like, I just remember feeling like so happy that when I saw him and then honestly there, there is, there was a small part of me that was kind of like, uh, I think I, and I told you this already because, because Gideon has, um, his dad's eyes, there was a small part of me that's like, this is my kid. Like, it's just, it, I, And I was fully expecting, obviously, that is a very dominant gene, genetic-wise, right? Uh, But it just, it still was kind of like... um, Because he looks really Asian. Yeah, like I just had to be like, yes, this, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to describe it, but, you know, to be honest, I just kind of saw him and I was like, huh, okay, this is my kid? Like, this, you know what I mean? Like, I I I don't know. It's like, it's weird. It's it's just weird, yeah. What about you? But I wonder if it's the same thing as, like... When I'm walking around with you guys, and then they're like, "Oh, these are your kids." I'm like, "Yeah, they're my kids, but they're not. They're like my stepkids." Oh yeah, so I it's see like what you mean. it's there's like the a weirdness in between it. 
Okay. Yeah. So what was your first three emotions? Um, relief, for sure, that he was born and uh, Shans was okay. Mm -hmm. um, second one would be excitement. And then the third one was like, I got to tell everybody. <laughs> uh, and then another question are you in a little daily routine with Gideon or just going with the flow um, I think in the beginning I was kind of going with the flow and it was kind of making me a little like not crazy but a little bit like I don't know like you know why because he's also kind of fussy mm -hmm. um, so then I I didn't necessarily put him in a routine but I just started writing on my phone like okay this time he's feeding because i also like that whole mom brain thing is t totally real i forget like so many things and so i would forget like oh what time did i feed him last night has it been two hours three hours an hour and a half like what you know and so i just started tracking everything in my phone okay so this time i fed um this time he napped from here to here and then this time i fed again and this time and so the last i think three days i've done that three or four days i don't know but it's kind of kept me sane because i can look and be like okay no i only nursed him an hour ago um he's tired like that's why he's being so fussy it's not because he's hungry it's because he's tired whereas if it's been like two two hours i'm like oh, okay like you know he could feed again or whatever um because with newborns like when they're new newborn um the midwife said feed every hour and a half to two hours um, you know, depending on your baby and just to kind of go with the flow. And so I think, you know, I kind of tried to do that too, but then now, like just for my own kind of peace of mind, just keeping track of it just helps me, uh, with that. Yeah, um, I didn't ever yeah. realize how much work moms have to do. Like I, re <laughs> I realized that like babies are a lot of work, but yeah. not experiencing it firsthand. It's like, wow, you're amazing. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, love. Because she literally has to wake up every two hours. She do she doesn't get more than two hours of sleep, like consecutive, or yeah, most of the time. And when she does, then she just has. To, it's not like oh, we're done like in a couple of days. She has to do this for like the next how many months. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, man, <laughs> moms, you're the best. Yeah. Yes, moms are the best, yeah. especially my mom. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then, oh, she also asks, at what age do you think uh, Gideon can be babysat? Um, I don't know. I'm not, I will say, and even with my other kids, I'm not one of those moms um, that ever thinks about, like, asking somebody else to babysit my kids. Like, I am going to the grocery store. If I'm going to do something, like, my kids just come with me. Um, I just always want them with me. So I'm never like, oh, how, uh, you know, or when can I babysit mm -hmm. or get them babysat? If if he were to get babysat, he would probably be like at least a year, mm -hmm. I would say. And then even then it would be like, oh, we'd go for maybe a date night for an hour or an hour and a half and then have, you know, Addie's watching him. Mm -hmm. She knows him. He's familiar with her. Like, I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. She can get a hold of me. Like, we wouldn't go far. Like, you know, kind of things like that or whatever, too. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we got a few more about his name, which we already answered. Um, how cute do you think Addie is? She's pretty cute. She's pretty amazing. The older three just completely love on him. Sloan Silverstein 2 asks who held him first. Uh, they just put the baby right on top of me. Yeah. And then you would have like technically held him first. You would have been the first one to like hold oh, him. Oh, yeah, hold him. yeah. Um, to transfer him his into his middle little... name. We already answered that. Um, I am Yushradjatim. She just, um, what made you choose the name Gideon, which we did answer. And then she says, I just have to add, he is just adorable. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, man, you guys are awesome. Look at all these uh, questions. When is Gideon's nap time from... Uh, Morgan Jane Starkman. And his nap time is whenever he feels like it, and then he'll wake up and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, Chad has him on a schedule, but sometimes he'll still fuss before. Like, he, he fights sleep. Yeah. He'll, Which like, he'll be literally, eyes will good... be falling, closing, and then his eyes, he'll be like, oh. Yeah. And then close, and then he'll, like, his eyeballs are, like, rolling to the back of his head. And he's just, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then it'll start crying and just wakes them up completely. Yeah, and apparently newborns, which I didn't know this, but apparently they, their sleep cycles are 30 to 45 minutes. And so if they aren't really good at self-soothing them back to sleep, uh, then, which he does, he'll wake up every 30 to 45 minutes if he's like in his um, snuggie and then like laying down kind of on his own and not being like rocked or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, but thank you for your question. Um, Ashley Cav says, was his labor process easier or harder than the other kids? Um, I would say... I think I the know. pregnancy was harder. Yes. For yeah, sure. She, she felt sick for the f- like for six, six months. Six months, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, not good. Um, and then my iron levels were super low, so then I was super exhausted, super tired. Um, and then I had really bad uh, acid reflux, so I had to make sure I kept on top of what I was eating. If I had any wheat, then I, like, literally couldn't breathe through my nose, so I mm-hmm. couldn't eat wheat. Um, there was just a lot more with the pregnancy. But the labor, I think, overall... Um, no, it was probably the same ish as the other kids. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it was harder or easier. My, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe a little bit harder because with the, with the younger two, with Salem and Aaliyah, I had water births. And so it didn't maybe feel as intense in the end. Because when you're in water, you're more buoyant. You know what I mean? There's not as much gravity. There's not as much pressure. Um, so maybe a little bit harder than the other two that were uh, in water. That's what I'd say about that. Anyways, thank you guys. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced anybody's name mm-hmm. in that. But thank you guys so much for all your questions. You guys yeah. are awesome. This was a long one, but we'll still try to bring little Gideon in here. Yeah. Hey, Grandma. This is little Gideon. Hey, baby. He is right. now three weeks and a couple of days. He's, he's probably going to start fussing he's soon. He's camera shy. Oh, no, he usually likes looking at bright lights, so this is probably like, his, he's like, oh yeah, let me look at that. He's oh. sleepy. He loves going for walks when I put him in the snuggly, and then he's just asleep. Yeah, he likes scratching himself too, so we have a little mitts on him. little mitts, yeah. Because they're nails... How you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> he loves grunting. Okay. Grunting and groaning. Can you see him? Yeah, I'll give you He's side. so cute. He's yeah. so cute. He's, grow- he's so grown precious. so much. Like, especially his face. Yeah. It's, it's filled up. Yep. Which is good. Good, good, good to grow, hey? But, yeah. Anyways, thanks you guys so much for oh, joining Oh, he's waving us. to you guys. He's waving. Hi, <laughs> Pi fam. <laughs> It's too bad he wouldn't smile. Yeah. He's yeah, he scares himself all the time, I feel like. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. This was a long video, so if you guys made it to the end, thank you. You guys are trippers. And uh yeah, maybe hopefully soon we'll have him like eating with us and uh yeah, but that probably won't well, be for a couple like years. Well, when he's like 6 7 months. Yeah, yeah. Then they eat his mushy food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right make sure to leave a like comment subscribe and uh well yeah we'll see you guys next time bye guys bye